We're Jillian and Jonas, and after living aboard our 30-foot sailboat for over a year, we've decided to hit the road and travel across the country in our newly built van. Like and subscribe to follow along as we drive from coast to coast. Good morning. Good morning. Time to go. It is time to go. I call good timing. I think that's the first time ever. <laughs> the van's coming home to its kind. <laughs> Look at all these Delcos, that's hilarious. <laughs> so the first stop on our trip is actually to get a coolant tank um, we wanted to get one it's really difficult to get parts for the Delica in Canada um, but of all places there's actually a little shop on the island that sells Delica parts um, or they like bring them in and then they sell them here so yeah we decided to drive up and get a coolant tank just so we have it because our coolant tank is leaking a little bit and we want to get that replaced before we take it across Canada. So yeah, we decided to come pick one up and there's an insane amount of Delicas in this, <laughs> in this yard. I wasn't expecting that. Just gonna give them a few minutes to open up. Okay. Two. Okay. That was close. <laughs> Holy. Too fast. Well, we made it to the ferry. We we're really hoping to be on the 10 o'clock, but it's not looking too hot. So we might be on the 11, but that's not too bad. We're moving! We made it! That's so lucky. <laughs> that's wild. I did not think we were gonna make it. It's kind of hot. What a view. It's like kind of weird we're parked on an angle though. Yeah, I've never parked like this before. I feel like it's, like look at those guys. Sometimes 
time At your own pace you need to find your way stop in Whistler right now for some lunch and also just to walk around the village for a little bit. This is the second time we've used our little table, uh, which is still working amazing. It's a little crazy in there, so we just went to the grocery store and got some snacks and having a snack in the parking lot. Six almost. Oh, we're on hour 12. 13. <laughs> of our day one. And yeah, today got a little long. Anytime you have to take the ferry, yeah. it gets a little long for traveling. And we're Zip. stuck in construction right now. Although it's moving. She's moving. Anytime you have to take a ferry, it makes the day extra long because you, yeah, you wait an hour yeah. for the ferry and then... Oh! Slow to unload. We're moving. Trying to get the way I'm living. Estimated the amount of time that it would take us. We took a different route than we um, normally would. We took the scenic route. We took the scenic route. Thank you. And uh, yeah, it's it's taken a lot longer. I'm super excited to have finally started our trip. Uh, yeah, it feels good. It was kind of stressful getting the boat ready the night before. For some reason, it always goes till super late. We don't get to bed until like at least midnight. Um, so it just felt really good to sort of like get on the road and finally start. And then I feel like it's easy. Then you just get to like enjoy and drive and see all sorts of things. We've had a gorgeous drive already today. And yeah, can't wait for more. And I mean, this is in our own province too. Like I can't wait to see, especially going out east, I can't wait to see out there because I haven't been there as much. So. We have the van all packed up too, which is really nice. The last couple days we've had a bunch of bins and sort of loose items and so anytime we take it driving things will be sliding all over the place um, so it's been really nice to have things put away we're heading to the grocery store to pick up some food for dinner tonight and then i think we're gonna crash at a friend's house it's an easy place to park the van and yeah. that will be all for tonight every hour we spend together 
just stopped at this cute little public rec site here. For the first part of our trip, we're hoping to take the northern highway called the Yellowhead. It kind of goes right through the middle of Alberta and then down, sort of winds southeast until Manitoba. We stopped here to have some lunch and do a little bit of editing. Jilly's set up in the van. This trip across Canada is gonna be our first major time in the van. Uh, so far it's working really nice. We are getting used to where we want to keep everything and the van seems to be doing great. Yesterday we did some off-road testing. Julie's moving a log. This is our first off-road test of the van. Whoa. <laughs> How's the paint look? <laughs> Woohoo! She made it! <laughs> We're about halfway up BC and Stopping a lot right now just to visit some family and friends, but soon we'll be heading east. Whose are those? Hey. Hi. Yeah, so that's a pretty sick little setup. I have a nice little table to do some editing. Got the snack chest, the cooler. <laughs> good to go. <laughs> yeah. Joe Ben up there. Yeah. yeah, it's a good setup so far. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's been really great. taking a little canoe ride this morning. Made a good sleep inside the cabin and this afternoon we're gonna keep driving north. Helicopter. Hopefully we can get a fish. Like I said, my good flies. Not here. So many bears. Cam? 
No. Hey, I'm just a cute little bear. Yeah, I missed it on camera, but we've literally seen, in the last two days of driving, we've seen two black bears, um, which is really cute. Maybe we'll see a bear every day. That would be wild. Especially while we're in BC. But I feel like, yeah, for some reason, some years I'll see like absolutely no bears and other years, like this year, I've seen at least five bears, which is, I just love them. They're adorable. <laughs> yeah, that guy was chunky. Yeah, he was. He's getting ready for winter hibernation. Gotta get those berries in. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> Okay, so no joke, we just saw another black bear. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Oh my goodness. He's a big one too, holy. He is, he's ready for winter. Bye-bye, bear. See you later, buddy. Oh, now he's scared him. Probably good, he's off the road. 